Hey everybody, Alyssa here from Becoming Memories. Thanks for joining me for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club telephone game. Uh, This is the beautiful layout that I received from the woman previous to me, Katie Scott. And when I saw this, I immediately had to pull out the Whimsical Collection because, you know, it was already on my desk. So that was a very happy coincidence. And so I pulled out this striped paper with some gold foiling there, this rainbowy one. And um, I'm just pulling out, oh, there's the layout again from Katie. And um, I knew that her layout had two pictures and it had a panel sort of of a big block of pattern paper in the middle. So what I did is I swapped it out and because I was using that rainbow pattern from my background, I put a almost solid block down the middle. So it's of course an ombre and then I wanted to also steal the idea of a gold title, the idea of two photographs, and lots of floral um, fussy cut pieces. Or, and um, I think Katie's was a combination of die cuts and fussy cut pieces. So I'm matting my photos here, and I'm I separated them a little bit because I intend to do two separate photos. I'm, I am planning to kind of layer them one over the other, and so I didn't mat them. I didn't want them on one mat. I wanted them on two separate mats, but the same paper, if that makes sense. Um, So now I'm just going and straightening out my mat because I did not cut that straight at all. Um, But you know, hey, I probably should have edited that out, but oh well. So these are photos of my daughter when she was probably five, six months old, uh, eating solid food for the very first time. And so my title will have something to do with that and I'm looking for some washi tape here I'm thinking about putting a border between the ombre and the stripe and I think it is going to be this solid color pink and I'm really trying to use my washi tape more and I like using it as a border between two different layers on the layout and so that's what I did here and it's great because it gives you a nice you know 12 to 13 inch piece of washi tape that you can get used up and get out of your stash and then you don't have to cut into another 12 by 12 paper which I also find quite fabulous so this is a giant piece um, that I have fussy cut from the paper in the women's school collection kind of um, to me at least it's kind of the signature um piece from that collection and I fussy cut it before I started filming because fussy cutting is boring to watch (laughs) and I didn't want to put you all through that and then I kind of just figured out where I wanted it what part was going to show behind my photos and I cut it in half and that's one of my favorite things to do when you have like a giant floral cluster that you fussy cut sometimes it's just way too big to use it all in one spot on one page like it would dominate your page and so I just chop it in half and tuck it under something and use it in two separate spots so what I'm doing now is because I cut it in half I felt like there was too much white in certain parts that I hadn't previously fussy cut out so I'm just going back and like trimming it down a little bit so that it looks a little more cohesive as a part instead of as a whole when it was all one whole piece I felt like it made sense the way it was but then when it was a half It just needed a tiny bit of tweaking to make it really work for that space. And that left me with this other piece that I have fussy cut and some floral die cuts, which I'm opening up here, I believe, for the first time. I love fussy cutting so much that I, when I got these floral die cuts, I absolutely loved them, but I (laughs) used them because my go-to is the fussy cutting. So I'm going to try and layer a few of those in just to add a little more color to the layout. What happened there was on top when I cut that fussy cut piece in half most of the color of it got hidden behind the photo or was on the other half and so while I like the arrangement of sort of the leaves there I felt like it needed a little more color and I do end up adding a little bit more in here in a bit you'll see. So and now I'm looking through my swatch book for some ink trying to decide if I want to do a little bit of inking behind the clusters there. And I am pulling out Abandoned Coral, I believe, is that color. And I'm going to use my sponge applicator just to, again, I'm trying to just bring a little color and dimension 
behind that fussy cut piece because it was feeling a little flat and looking a little flat to me. So I'm doing it there top and bottom and this is really just going to add sort of a shadow almost behind that fussy cut piece but you'll see there what a difference it makes adding that hint of that coral color behind it really just fills it in and makes it kind of come to life a little bit. That's one of my favorite mixed media things to do because it's quick and easy and you with the Distress Oxide you don't have to wait for it to dry at all, which is perfect. It really appeals to me when I don't have to wait for something to dry. So what are we doing now? Title. So I'm looking at these gold thickers. These are from a Jen Hadfield collection, but they're gold foil and the gold, um, the stripes, foiled stripes there on my background paper are also gold foil. So that is why I pulled these out. This is the word start and I'm having a heck of a time getting it off the back. It was sticking to the back and it was like peeling part of the back off like the back, the sheet that they're all stuck to, it was like bringing part of that sheet with it. And so I ended up just cutting it out so that I could peel that off a little easier without bending that piece. Um, I love the thickers that are thin chipboard or cardstock mounted on foam. The only trouble is I feel like when you bend them, you see every little crease. And so I was trying not to bend it too much. So I'm going to add the word start there right on top of my photo because you know the best part of these photos is her face and I didn't see much added value there in, in showing that part of her seat so I just went ahead and put that sticker right over it and I'm ready now to go ahead and adhere the photos I've finalized their replacement well sort of <laughs> okay now I finalized their replacement <laughs> it wasn't tilted enough for me what happened there was I felt like it should have been more tilted in order to make it appear intentional rather than accidental so that's why I picked it up and moved it so now I'm just gluing down with my fine liner bottle the fussy cut pieces this is uh, a fine line bottle I got from Amazon with the scotch quick dry adhesive in it You've probably heard other crafters talking about that on numerous occasions. This is another fussy cut piece. I'm just doing a bit of layering and tucking with some of the smaller little fussy cut pieces. A little few uh, foam squares. <laughs> and the back. I think that the, the um, little stickers that cover the adhesive were kind of fighting me with this particular layout. And so... Um, I had to had to fight them a little bit. Now I'm trying to decide what the rest of my title's gonna be, and I I was going to use this gold alphabet because gold, but it's a different gold. And I ended up taking it off <laughs> because the fact that it was a different gold and it was right beside the gold on that fussy cut piece was just sort of bugging me. I also didn't necessarily like the way that that font was fitting in that space. So I've jumped up here to grab another font and you'll see here in just a second what I end up with. Should have cut all this out as well, but since we're waiting for me, <laughs> um, I can tell you that with this collection, uh, one of the things that kind of kept me from jumping into it right away is that, there we go, that is, um, I think the, the alphabet from Whimsical. Um, one of the things that kept me from jumping into this collection right away is that so many of the icons are art themed. There are little scissors, little paintbrushes, etc. And um, I kind of like held off from using it because I was waiting for something along those or that theme. And so I ended up doing two things. One, I had bought a ton of this collection. I was like, I gotta use it. So one, I took some pictures of my kids just creating the art that they create in the everyday. They paint, they paint, they, um, they, um, they call it scrapbooking. <laughs> they stick things to paper. <laughs> it's kind of really what it ends up being. Um, they do Play-Doh, they do all those things. And I just took a bunch of photos of them doing that because they do that kind of thing every single day. And I, created layouts and I went ahead and used you know I mean if they were coloring I might use the paintbrush or I might have used the paint palette but I decided it was close enough and I was just going to go for it and use up some of those little icons the other thing is that this collection 
if you really look, it does have a lot of things that are not art themed. And I was getting hung up on that. And once I kind of looked past that, you'll see here on this layout, for example, this is a baby layout. There isn't a single art themed piece on the layout here at the end. And I was able to um, have plenty of choices and plenty of embellishments. So anyway, if you're struggling and you're getting hung up on this layout for that particular reason and because of that just just um you know maybe take some pictures of your kids doing anything artsy or of yourself doing anything artsy this would be a great collection to document your workspace your creative space as well um all right so we've got a good time sticker there right now i'm just trying to fill in enough detail that i feel like this layout is finished because it's coming together pretty quick actually um, those two frames, the green on the left and the purple on the right, are cut from another paper in this collection. And I bought 25 sheets of that paper at Tuesday morning because those frames are super versatile. If you have a couple extra sheets, I highly recommend cutting out those little picture frames and keeping them somewhere on your desk because I have found that those colors work really well with a variety of collections and they make great journaling spots on layouts. So now we're sprinkling, I think, little hearts. A couple more word stickers and some little puffy stars and hearts. Oh, and now it's time for the Heidi Shine, as Adele to me would say. If you watch Inky Quill, let me know in the comments. I've, I've been watching her scrap streams a lot from several years ago, and so Heidi Shine is on the brain. <laughs> um, I love how she uses the Heidi Shine or the Heidi Swap um, Gold Mist. And by the way, if you're running out of Heidi Swaps Gold Mist and you need a substitute, I have a review on my channel of the Shimmers Gold. I think it's called Minor Minor 49er or some such thing. You can check that out on my channel as well. So here are some close-ups. Thanks so much for joining the hop. Uh, make sure you come back tomorrow for the next layout in the hop, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.